For those of you that love the look of watercolor and love graphite pencil as well, I have found something that combines the, both of them. Now you may have seen this before, but this is the first time that I have really tried it. I've seen this at the art store for several years. It is the Art Graph Watercolor Graphite. And I open it up and it looks a little bit like shoe polish in this container. But this is watercolor graphite. And I was a bit skeptical at first, but I've discovered that I really like it. For those of you that like to use the blender, this sort of thing, and when you use your pencil, you want to fill in something pretty quickly and you can use a blender to fill in areas with your graphite. Or another way that I used to fill in when I wanted a really uh, area covered really quickly was with a tissue. And I would just do that. But I've discovered this watercolor graphite. I went ahead and I tried it and I'm just trying this on a scrap piece of paper and then I'm going to show you a painting or a drawing done with it. You can see that it is watercolory and it granulates just like pencil. Fills in areas very quickly. And then I thought, okay, I wonder if anything else that I've had could do this. So I pulled out some of my pencils and this one is the woodless pencil and it's the soft graphite. And I thought, let's try this. And discovered that no, that doesn't really work, okay. Let's try these sticks. First, I tried the medium. And let's try this. That didn't work. Well, what if I did this? That doesn't work. What if I did that and then added water to it? No, nope, that doesn't have the same look to it. Let's go to the softer one and let's try it and see if having it softer stick works and no it doesn't really work at all all i'm getting is the blue that was already in my brush and if i did it that way that doesn't work either and then i have this really wonderful graphite stick it's a big thick stick that i've used for several things i sometimes use this on the back of a piece of paper and if i don't have any of the transfer paper this works really well and this is a softer stick that I do remember. The one I bought was a 6B. Let's try this one. And I got some water on it and lo and behold, it is the very same thing and I can use it the very same way. And what if I did it this way? Now the stick is wet and then it goes to dry. But what if I did it dry and then added water? That doesn't really work unless I like that look. But this works really well. I thought I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor pencil drawing using this watercolor graphite. I am just doing an image that is of a barn near where I live. I'm using one of my watercolor brushes, a larger one. This is something else I have discovered, that it works best on hot press watercolor paper. It doesn't, it works okay on cold press, but then it's harder to build up pencil after you've painted with it. And the Bristol board is not thick enough to use on. The next option I tried was a hot press watercolor paper and it seems to work really, really well with it. Now it could work on illustration, smooth illustration board, but I didn't have any, so this, is what I'm going to go with. I'm just painting like I would with a watercolor with this and then I can build up with pencil in certain areas. I'm doing this mostly so you can see what can be done with this. And if you're interested in it, you can purchase it or you can buy the one of those thick sticks.
I did take down my paper and this acts a little bit like black paint, but it's actually graphite, which is so very interesting. I suppose you could do the same thing with black paint and then build up with the pencil on top. We will try to see if this even erases like pencil would, like graphite would erase. I can continue to work on this as if it were a watercolor. What I want to do is see if the pencil will build up on this and how much detail I can put on top of this with a graphite pencil. And I also want to see if I can erase with a regular eraser. I'm going to leave this here for now and let it dry. This is what it looks like now that it's dried. And I'm going to come in with some of my pencils, of course my favorite one, and then I will move on to this woodless graphite one that I really like. But just starting here, I'm going to see if I can try to add to this a little bit. I really like the sky as it is. I may not add too much. I want to see if I can make a seamless transition between the watercolor graphite and the graphite pencil and try to make it look like they are one and the same, or at least the transition is smooth. 
I'm going to fill in some areas that I feel like didn't quite get dark enough when I was painting, such as right here. And this one that's a little bit softer and darker might be a smoother transition, but I also feel like it gets too dark. And that's why I was trying to stick with my lighter 2B pencil. And maybe I have to use this one in between. I'm also going to try some different erasers. Let's try the kneaded eraser. And let's try this mono eraser and see what happens. I'm going to try this one first. And what's wonderful is that it actually does erase. With the kneaded eraser, it doesn't seem to go back completely to white, but it does lighten the graphite. Let's try this one right here. I'm going to come up here and see if I can come in with this mono eraser and try to get some of these areas back to white. And it also does not quite get there. I'm having a hard time lifting it back to white, but it does lighten it. I'm going to go ahead and use my 2B, my favorite pencil with the 2B lead to fill in some areas and make this a little bit more detailed, trying to transition between the watercolor graphite and the actual graphite. I can even use my blender to fill in some of these areas to transition better. So I will continue on with this and see what sort of effect I can get between this watercolor graphite and my pencils and my tube pencils.